Good morning, you guys. I'm sorry for not ending our vacation vlog, but we are back home, as you can see. And with coming back home from vacation, that just means you got a lot of things to get in order. You know, people stay at your house, house sit, you got to get sheets fresh, you got to get house cleaned to your liking, and just a lot of catching up to do. So I have not rested. We left um, yesterday from Georgia at about 4 a.m. Texas time, and then we got in at 7 p.m. Texas time. So, with that being said, I would like to thank Milani Fine Linens for sponsoring today's video because they are going to help me get my house refreshed up for the week ahead and just be ready. But before that, we got to get rid of these old sheets and put on our new sheets. So, we're not going to get rid of them. They just need to be washed. <laughs> and we're going to put on our new ones, but our new ones also need to be washed as well. All right, you guys, so this is the packing, packaging of their sheets, the Milani Fine Linen Sheets are 100% brushed microfiber and they're very easy to take care of. Easy care machine wash in cold water with similar colors in a gentle cycle. Tumble dry low, remove promptly, do not bleach, iron, or dry clean. So I really like that these are going to be wrinkle resistant because as you can see the ones we have on our bed now are very wrinkly and these are 1800 brushed microfiber sheets. All right, you guys, so first things first, when obviously when you're having to change your sheets, you do gotta go ahead and strip the bed. So we're just gonna go ahead and get that bed all stripped down. you guys and then we're gonna go ahead and unbox or unbag our sheet set I love this sheet set it's great if you like wrinkle free it's super buttery soft and it's perfect for all weather types and I absolutely love them we've been sleeping on them for about two weeks now and they wash really well and really easy So the care instructions for these are pretty simple, so I'm going to use the same exact products that I use on all my laundry. You're going to want to wash these with similar, similar colors on cold wash and on a more gentle cycle. I do like to add an extra rinse to all my wash cycles just to make sure you get all of that soap out of your clothes, sheets, whatever you're washing, and also I use vinegar as my fabric softener as to not damage the product. For drying, you're just going to tumble dry your sheets on low, and these actually dried fairly quickly. I just put it on a normal dry cycle and I turned the heat down to low. And you want to take these out of the dryer as soon as they finish. Taking them out of the dryer as soon as they're done will really help prevent those wrinkles. And just like that, it's time to go ahead and get them out the dryer and then time to start making our bed. I really loved how deep the pockets were on these. I don't have the issue of them coming off the corners of the bed like I usually would. So you guys, these sheets are a must have. You can find them down in the link in my bio. You can find them on my Amazon storefront, but for sure I will put a direct link to these in the description box. All 
Again, I'd like to thank Milani for sponsoring today's video. Use code 25MYMILANI for 15% off. And this is how the bed turned out. And I think these sheets are absolutely gorgeous and they are absolutely buttery soft. thousand times and I did that yeah I stayed a while tried to make it right cigarette no I never smoked but my heart is broke explosive stressing for that old thing back 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 that initial love all the goosebumps those factors in my gut Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday, and I know I have been crappy at vlogging. I feel like we've been home for like two weeks, but in reality, we've only been home since Tuesday, and it's just been a lot catching up, and then I'm still like getting the house in order, getting it back in good standing, especially from like unpacking, readjusting, and then it was like in the midst of readjusting, like Ryan and I had a spat. And then after that, like I went to go hang out with a friend and then her girls were staying with me for a couple of days. And then the boys just went to go stay with her and her girls for a couple for last night. They wanted to go stay the night. So I was like, okay. And this is a friend that I've had for Wow, over ten years at this point. So we're sitting there doing the math and we've been friends since oh six, oh seven. So, for almost 20 years, we have been friends. So, um, yeah, I, I trust my boys staying over there with her. They're actually still over there. I'm pretty sure they're all still sleeping because they were probably up late. Brian had to work today. I'm doing chores, and if I'm done when I want to be done, I might walk to church. My hair's already done. I just got to do my makeup and find an outfit. Look at my braids, y'all. I'm getting so good at braiding my hair. I'm also trying to show y'all. I'm getting pretty good. I've been braiding Bryson's hair too. His hair is short but long enough for me to braid. 
So I've been trying to catch up on chores this morning because the office was a wreck. The boys' bathroom has been a wreck. I'm just going to do a swish and swipe of the boys' bathroom today because it'll get cleaned tomorrow. Maybe I should just leave it till tomorrow and then when they come home, let them wipe it down. But the living room was has been out of whack since, like, basically since we've been back. Like, things just, we're all out of the habit of putting things back in their place in our own home. Because for like almost two weeks, we were just like, my mother-in-law wouldn't let me clean. And so we're all just trying to get back into the habit and into the swing of things. So we are, I'm doing my laundry. I did go into, I went into the office to put up one thing and I meant to record me cleaning the office for you guys and reorganizing it. And then I just ended up cleaning it. But then I was like, dang, I need to start laundry because I was about to go start in the boys room. I was going to go ahead and clean their room for them. And then I was going to go ahead and, um... I want to go to the Dollar Tree and find like a rewards chart because I want for every chore that they do I want them to be able to earn something because I get tired of fighting with them and I don't want to yell like I don't want to be that mom I do yell but it's after like the 30th time of me asking them to do something but regardless nonetheless I don't need to be yelling or getting that frustrated so I'm gonna try to implement a point a point system when it comes to helping with the chores and then I also want to do like a treasure box reward system for homeschool. So I think what I'm going to do is like go to like Walmart and like get like the birthday party packs and then get like a little tote and it'll be like their rewards treasure chest. So that way at the end of the school week, every week, if they've done good, they can pick out one prize. And then I also want to like put like little written things in there like, oh, you got a $5 game card for whatever for their favorite game place is and yeah I think that that would be really good but right now I need to start on this laundry and then I need to clean their room and the way my brain was just working is exactly how I've been cleaning my house all morning so I'm gonna go ahead and sort out the laundry I ran away from heartbreak Got nothing in return for my pain I never thought I'd be so empty So alone and afraid hey. Wasn't looking for a lover Nobody understood where I've been Yes, I thought I needed more time to protect my love from potential offense. So I So I know y'all probably thought I was kidding, but this is how the boys left their room. And I'm going to clean it for them. Then we're going to have a long good talk whenever they get home about how unacceptable it was.
All right, you guys. The boys' room is now clean. Beds are fixed. Every, every, everything that could have been out of place was out of place. Like, it, and I don't think it was the boys. I don't think it was the boys, but they should have known better. And when their cousins and things like that help them clean up, I've been trying to teach them to tell them like hey, this is where this goes, this is how that goes, but they don't do that, so I just got everything back in order today. We're going to have a talk, a good long talk, whenever they get home about this room, about their laundry, and things like that, and then like I said, I really want to start that point system, but I'm still waiting on Brian to get home because I do need to go to the Dollar Tree because I also want each of them to have their own laundry baskets, and I'm just going to slide them under their bed, and then I'll move that laundry basket to my room, and then so that way Brian and I can like separate our clothes from whites and colors. Then that takes away one thing that I have to do on our laundry day. But yeah, it's already 11 o'clock. I was really hoping to be done by 10.30, 10.45 so I could get ready and then walk to church. But by the time I get there, it'll be 11.30. I would have missed just about half of everything. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go switch these loads of laundry. Let Optimus out for a little bit. Do some Bible study. And then after that, the boy should be here, I think. I think the boy should be here in a little bit. And then um, I need to bathe Optimus today, too. So that's the plan. But, yeah. All right, you guys. It is the end of the night. It is 10 o'clock. Um, I did not end up bathing Optimus today. Instead, what I worked on was this. Let me show you all. I worked on this chore point chart for the boys. Some of the stuff is crooked, but that's okay. I did my best. So this tells them what they can do to earn points. They also have to understand that they could lose points. And they have to have a certain amount of points before they can get their rewards. So the reason it's 15 points, because it took literally all day for Ethan just to get here with his points. And this is, I believe, 17 points. But he doesn't. he won't know that he has that until tomorrow because I added some points for them going to bed without fussing and fighting so I'll tell them that in the morning and then you see King doesn't have a lot of points mind you this has been a full day so it's kind of funny because like it kind of goes in age order but it's already been really really good I'm really liking it so I'm really excited to see and very hopeful that it'll remain as is so yeah you guys i'm about to take a shower and call it a night but i am going to go ahead and end this vlog here and we'll see if i pick up tomorrow i have a ton of editing to do tomorrow and that's the only reason why i'm saying i'm ending this vlog here so i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more and i will see you guys in the next one bye